Okay, in this session, I want to show you how to generate a CSR with OpenSSL for the ODET CA. We need uh, two downloads for that. Uh, number one is the OpenSSL, uh, preferably, preferably the um, Windows installer for, for OpenSSL, which you can find in the first link, and uh, then uh, some small batch files that we created to help you to uh, create the CSR. Uh, let's start with the first one. Open your browser. I'm afraid uh, you will not be able to copy that from the video, so it's slproweb com then products slash win32 openssl.html scroll down and select the proper SSL version for you. I selected I have a 64 bit operating system. I selected this win64 openssl version 1.0 0.1e. Uh, if you have a 32-bit SSL, then uh, you have to, to use this one, Win32 OpenSSL 1.0.1e for Windows 32. Once you have finished your down, download, uh, run this exe, exe file. accept the agreement. Make sure that you enter here program files open SSL Win64. Um, default, I believe the uh, installer does not propose program files, but directly in the root of C to install a directory open SSL, but then the process will not work. Make sure that you enter C colon program files backslash open SSL dash win64. Next, accept this. You can accept the default. Uh, DLLs will be put into the Windows directory and install the files. You may donate something to open SSL if you uh, feel so and finish the installation. The next thing we have to do is to download a little tool. You might get such a warning that uh, this tool is not often downloaded. Of course, you keep this right mouse button, extract all. And actually, I put this for reasons of convenience into my C root or that CA tools and show as extracted files when complete. Extract this. Next thing you have to do is you open the uh, command prompt and you change to the directory uh, that you have just created. Here we have the uh, few batch files and the one you need right now is the create csr dot bat. Create so the program asks you for a file name. Uh, we recommend that you use, for instance, the um, qualified domain host name for your uh, server uh, in order to remember for, for what machine, for what uh, server you requested the certificate. I use here edi.org. Then OpenSSL starts to work, and you have to uh, enter some um, attributes for the certificate. It starts with the country, uh, CB for OJET, then state or province, uh, and then uh, locality name, that's the city or your town name or village or whatever. 
then the company name, of course you give your company name or the company name of the company that owns the, the server and that uh, needs the certificate. So organizational unit is optional. And then common name, this is important. Here we re uh, recommend the fully qualified domain host name of the server. In my case, uh, it is PDI. That's actually the host name that is visible uh, for your partners, visible to the internet or from the internet to your partners. This is the address that they have to enter when they want to connect to your server. Email address of the responsible person. The extra attributes you can skip, you can leave them blank, just hit enter two times. And then the OpenSSL tool generates the necessary files. And you will find in the directory here two new files. Number one is the EDI ODET.org private key, PEM. And this private key is really a private key. It should always remain, remain on your computer. The ODET CA does not need this private key. Keep it. Where it is, you need it later on to uh, import it into your OFTP software in order to be able to decrypt uh, the files that your partner has encrypted. And you have an EDI or that org signing request CSR. This is the file that we need in the ODET um, uh, CA for signing your certificate. You can right click this and open it with a text editor and you see it is base64 encoded text um, and this text will be submitted to the uh, to the ODET CA. So let's start this order process. There is another video that shows the complete order process. I just uh, show you the, the starting point uh, here uh, so that we can check whether all certificate uh, attributes have been correctly encoded and will be recognized by the ODET CA. For the ODET CA, we go to HTTPS colon slash slash www.odetta.com. I have already ordered a, a number of certificates. Uh, if you are a first time customer, then of course you have to click on new customer. I just log into my account, purchase a new certificate. Since I use the Google Chrome, uh, I have only this one option, import CSR. If you use the Internet Explorer, we can could have done this as well then you might have two choices, but in any case, in this situation, you must select import CSR. And now we simply take our little text file, control A to highlight everything, control C to cop copy everything, and now control V to paste everything. Click on next. Now the CA application checks the input and you see exactly what I have uh, put into my certificate signing request is now shown here in uh, this little window. And if necessary, you can also add your uh, OFTP ID. Uh, actually, we would recommend to do so. That was actually everything you needed to know.